What's up guys, we're back and we're looking at some more NBA player props in today's video. Eight of our last 11 days are profitable days. I'm looking to make that nine of our last 12 after today. Let's hop in and get to these free plays. This video applies to everywhere, no matter where you are. Prize picks, sleeper, or sports book, it doesn't matter. I got you covered my best NBA player props for today's slate. We went one and one in yesterday's video. Unfortunately, Austin Reeves ended up selling us, so I'm looking to get back on track with a 2-0 and video today. Let's hop in, but before we do so, don't miss out, man. Join the Dub Club. You get all of my plays sent to you for free right now with the link down in my description. Don't miss out. There is a two-day free trial down in my description. Don't miss out. That also includes every single player prop sport, every play, and also includes Discord chat. It is the best package on, on the Dub Club that you guys can get in right now for free. So don't miss out. Two-day free trial is down in my description. My prize picks profit is over $5,000. I've since switched to a sports book. I'm up over a grand there now as well. So my plays come for all apps, by the way, and all sports books. So whether you're on prize picks, sleeper, chalkboard, a DraftKings Sportsbook doesn't matter. My place should apply to everywhere. The way my plays can send to you is through the Dub Club app, email, Telegram, or Discord. So there's a bunch of different ways to receive my plays, no matter what place you guys want to receive my plays. My plays come mainly right now for NBA and the MLB, which are my two best sports. MLB has been on fire. We're on a huge run right now in the MLB. So don't miss out, man. Two days for free is down in my description. And also, if you want to see some more free plays, give me a follow on Twitter at DMG Props or join the free Discord. I post my free play of the day over there. We've hit seven of our last nine. So don't miss out. Either join the free Discord with the link down in my description or give me a follow on twitter at dmg props and have the post of cases turned on so you guys do not miss my free plays that are posted up there all right now let's get into my plays today just play responsibly natural on risk leave a like and subscribe i really would appreciate it have those post of cases turned on so you do not miss future uploads let's hop in the first player prop i like today is going to be chris middleton over 19 and a half points let's hop in i'd also do like the 20 and a half points by the way on prize picks i will say that i think that's fine although i think 19 and a half is much better value it's available on pretty much every other site besides prize picks so if you're in DFS state, I'd probably try to play it on another app if you have one. Let's look at why I like Chris Middleton today with the props.cash tool. You can see right here that he's over in only 30% of the game so far this year. But let's look at the injury report. Uh, Giannis said he's going to be doubtful. He is not expected to play in today's game here. He's over in four to eight without him this year, but look at the minutes here. In games where he actually sees his 30 plus minutes, which he should most definitely see today, he had 35 minutes last game. Uh, but with 30 plus minutes this year and no Giannis, he's over in three out of four. The only game he missed right there was against Orlando, where he had 17. He was just a three pointer away. And that was shooting, by the way, six for 15. He had more than enough fuel attempts to cover this here, just ended up shooting kind of bad right there at 40%. So I think this should be a very, very good spot today for Chris Middleton and his points. Uh, not just based off of that, but let's keep looking into why I like this prop here. So first off here, and he just replays 32 or more minutes. Let's look at that. Because like I said earlier, he played 35 minutes last game. I'm expecting that. He's over in 50% of games, but also look at the field goal attempts. He's coming off of 14 last game. I'm expecting 12 plus today, especially if you look at other games where he's played without Giannis. I'm expecting those 12 plus field goal attempts. And when he has those, he's over in 54% of games. Let's look at these splits here at home. He's over in 69% of games. Great track record when he is at home. In games where Milwaukee wins, this is kind of a toss up. It depends if you think Milwaukee wins or loses today. But it's not a crazy split there or anything like that. It only goes down like 3 to 4% with those. So it's not like that's really been too big of a deal for him. Uh, with one day of rest, he's over this in 56% of games. So it goes up just a little bit there. But those aren't really the only reasons why I like him today without Giannis or like just with those 32 plus minutes. Look at what he did in the second half last game. Uh, the, the Pacers actually did a solid job of stopping Dame in the second half last game, considering he had zero second half points. He dropped 35 points in the first half, zero in the second half. They started lock on a Dame. They made the spread a little bit closer. I think they were actually, if you just took out, if you just took out the first half, I think the Pacers were actually winning the second half. That's because they were starting to double team and triple team Damian Lillard and just kind of shut him down, forcing other guys to score. I think if they do that same thing today, which I don't see why they wouldn't do that today, considering it worked for them in the second half. I see either Chris Middleton and or Bobby Portis having a pretty good game today with Damian Lillard possibly having a tougher time. I don't think he's going to be terrible today. But I do think they will look to stop Damian Lillard again and just not let him go crazy like he did in the first half. And look what he did in the second half. He had 23 points last game and 15 of those points came in the second half. He was absolutely dominant in the second half last game compared to his first half where he only had eight points. So it's, if they do the same thing they did in the second half, which kind of worked for them, I think Chris Middleton should be the guy getting looks and getting those points on the board for Milwaukee. I like Chris Middleton up to one unit, but Twitter and Discord will know my favorite play of the day on top of obviously the dub club. So don't miss out on those. But Chris Middleton today is currently my favorite play today. Over 19 and a half points. I love the spot here, especially with the scheme that they're probably going to do here. Uh, he's had a great history against Indiana this year, by the way, as well. That game where he had 14, he only had about 20 minutes played. He's got a great history against Indiana, by the way, as well. He has 19, 20, 14, 21, 19, and 23. And some of these games were with really, really low minutes. And some of these games were with, with the honest playing, obviously. I mean, this 19 number right here, this was back in November, so take it with a grain of salt. But he did only play like 20 minutes in that game. He still had 19 points in that one, so... 
Love Spider for Chris Middleton. Should be a great matchup for him. Should be a pretty good spot if they play the same type of uh, defense they played in the second half last game. That's what I'm kind of hoping for here. I think Chris Middleton should have plenty of looks. Also, if you're not already on Sleeper, don't miss out. Join using promo code DMG for first time deposit match up to $500. And you also get a free square when you sign up. So don't miss out. Link is down in my description. If you're not already on Sleeper, though, it's a really, really awesome app, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. They have a ton of categories on this board for pretty much anything. They even have double, double doubles on the board, triple doubles on the board, and turnovers, first quarter points, rebounds, assists. There's a lot of really cool categories on this board. So don't miss out. The link to join is down in my description. It also can give you some better payouts compared to some other player prop sites out there. For example, if you liked KD under his points today and you liked Anthony Edwards under their points today, that would pay out a 3.6x right there. So it gives you some really, really nice payouts compared to some other player prop sites if you like an over or an under that may be less favored. So don't miss out. Join Sleeper with the link down in my description. Don't miss out. Use promo code DUMG. And now let's hop into my second play of the day. This play is going to be Kyrie Irving over 29 and a half points plus rebounds. I've seen quite a few people on this one and I personally am on this one too. Let's take a look at why I like Kyrie Irving today. It's going to be an eighth of a unit as you can see right up there. But let's take a look at why. By the way, this tool I'm using right now is called Props.Cash. It's a player prop research tool that I've been using for like over two years now. If you like what you see from this tool, you can join using promo code DUMG for 25% off. The link to join is down in my description. They also have an awesome app. It's only $15 for the first month if you use that promo code DUMG. By Kyrie Irving today, he's over in 54% of games, but games where Luka is playing, he's over in 50% of games. So 50 right there. However, look at his games against the Clippers this year. He's had 33, 32, and 38 against them with Luka playing. He's been pretty aggressive in these games also. If you take a look at the field goal attempts, 19, 22, and 18. Really, really healthy field goal attempt numbers there. But uh, also, he's just been really attempting a lot of uh, field goal attempts here as of late as well. I mean, look at his last few games here. He's averaging 18.8 field goal attempts per game in his last 10 games here. And these are all, by the way, with Luka playing. He's had 18 plus field goal attempts in seven of his last 10 games. If he sees those 18 plus field goal attempts yet again today with Luka, he's over in 67% of games. We look at his splits here. He's a little bit worse on the road, but uh, in games where he is on one day of rest, stays the same there at 67%. Also with Luka this year, and when he plays 34 plus minutes, which he has seen in all of his last 10 games, he is at a 50% hit rate still. So the minutes haven't really been too much of a factor, which is not usually what I try to go for in these player props. But if you do look at his last few games here, he's over in 53% of his last 15 and 30% of his last 30 games with Luka playing in 34 or more minutes. So overall, it's kind of a straightforward read for me just because I like the matchup. He's been very, very successful in this matchup before. You can see what he did in last game. I think they're really just going to try to stop Luka more than anything. They really have to kind of pick their poison here. They're going to have to stop either Luka or Kyrie. And there really isn't another score on this Dallas Mavericks team besides Kyrie or Luka. There's a little bit of P.J. Washington, but he's going to score like probably 12 points. Like I said earlier too, I love how aggressive he's been. He's had 18 or more field goal attempts in seven of his last 10 with Luka playing. And I expect those to kind of be there yet again today. He only had 18 last game and I expect that to, you know, hopefully be closer to 20 this time around. Like he had in some of these other games against the Clippers this year with 19, 22, and 18. So I like the matchup. I like the aggressiveness. I expect Kyrie Irving today to go over his 29 and a half points plus rebounds. I think 34 and a half PRA is a fine spot as well. It is like a minus 105 on sports books compared to like a, I think it was like minus 120, I think minus 115 on some other books right there for his 29 and a half points plus rebounds. So I like both spots though. Don't miss out, man. Join the dub club link for it is down in my description. It is free right now. Two days for free. It includes everything, all plays, all apps, Discord chat, everything. So don't miss out. Two days for free. Down in my description. Get all of my plays sent straight to you. Also, check out this tool from Daily Grind. This right here is the optimizer. I'm gonna give you guys some free plays today from this tool. But if you guys want this tool for yourself, use the link down in my description. Use promo code DMG for 25% off. But this tool can help you find the best expected value plays on all these apps. So you can see right up here. All you have to do with this tool is click the refresh button. We're on the prize picks optimized right now. So it just showed us the best expected value plays on prize picks currently. There's a lot of fantasy score value right now. You can see in the MLB with Jordan Alvarez over fantasy score Pablo Lopez under his fantasy score Cal Tucker over his fantasy score there so there's a lot of pretty good value right here on the prize picks board and all I had to do was click one button the refresh button that's all I had to do and it pulls up the best fit to value plays if you're looking for like a two pick power play you can filter it down to five plays that fit into that play type you know five pick flex is pick flex and it'll be find some plays that fit into that play type also so don't miss out. The link for it is down in my description. Make sure you click on the fancy bundle and scroll down. There's actually two other tools included that I did not even talk about. They have the fancy score projection tool and the middling tool right there. They're included in this fancy bundle. So don't miss out. Use promo code DMG for 25% off. Thank you for watching today's video. I will see you hopefully in tomorrow's video where we make that run a 9-3 and three run with 9 of our last 12 days being profitable. I'm probably going to upload our next video uh, probably around midnight. It's probably going to be a late night upload if I had to guess here. So make sure you guys have those post notifications turned on so you guys do not miss that. Probably should have some plays up uh, pretty early, especially in the dub club. So don't miss out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Best of luck. See you guys then.